Oh, I have a bad feeling that something big's gonna go down. Oh, are you ready? Let's waste no time and head to the theme park then! Mr. Yang. Hmm? Why did you not tell your companions about my true identity? It's just like you said, an inability rather than an unwillingness. Plus, it's a long story, not something that can be summed up in a few words. But I chose to believe you, and my trust in you stems more from my own personal judgment. I also believe that if it were their choice to make, they would make the same one. Thank you. I'm grateful. To reciprocate. In the upcoming confrontation, if the odds aren't in the Astral Express's favor, I will stand with you. If my meager strength is required. We're back here again. Aventuring actually chose a really conspicuous location. Oh, that guy's really taking it to a whole new level. Does he really think he's a superstar or something? Not a soul in sight. The hounds drove out the visitors, and now their whereabouts are unknown too. Everyone, pay attention. The other party has obviously come prepared. your appointment, Mr. Aventurine. It is customary to show yourself as well. <laughs> well I will, naturally. But before that, I've got to introduce our guest of honor. Everyone, give it up for Miss Demeron! Let me remind you that in all likelihood, this stage and her identity have nothing to do with the wanted murderer. Oh no, they do. <laughs> of course they do. Otherwise, why would I work so hard to gain your trust and then invite you all here? Because she's the only one who saw all three homicides. She is the key to proving that the family's death it does not exist in Dream's promise is nothing but a sham! Three homicides? That's right, madam. The third one is about to happen right now, right here, in Clock Studios Theme Park. A truly grand death. You, 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 and you. All of you are going to die. And it's all because of you, Miss Stellaron. You 
will become the personification of death. Never underestimate yourself. Like I said, you have the power to turn the tide on the entire game. Let me be a little clearer. I will detonate the Stellaron in you and cause a teeny tiny accident on Panacone. BAM! The entire theme park will be reduced to a shattered dream. Then, before the family can even react, I'll become the IPC fleet's navigator. Your bluff isn't fooling anyone. If you could really do that, you would have done so earlier. You want to bet? <laughs> sure. I'll bet with you. I'm betting that it'll be a sweeping victory for me. By detonating an unprecedented explosion to prove that the vow of harmony is a complete and utter joke. You won't do it. Of course I can. It's just another gamble. I came from the wastelands of Sagonia. For just 60 red copper coins, people paid to brand me. Put me in chains. Place me in the gallows and bury me in the golden sands. But the sun could not kill me. And the quicksand sent me back to the embrace of the guild and the IPC. Bear in mind, my victory wasn't just a stroke of luck. No. I've never been defeated. Have you ever heard the saying, sleep is the rehearsal of death? Why do the living sleep? Oh, because we are not ready for the final rest. Every night is practice for the end. You and I are escaping into our dreams for fear of death at this very moment. And death will surface in our dreams. Friends, the game has commenced, and you cannot choose to decline. Nor do you have any reason or grounds to! The dice are cast. Ladies and gentlemen, ready to unveil your cards. The architect's flawed stone. <laughs> No value at all. I'm putting down the bet. I'm taking the gamble. I'm claiming the win. All oh, inmates in the wheel. A daring gamble. Walking the brink of death for rebirth. Oh. Another journey begins. Still waters of oblivion. <laughs> Prepare for something oh, worse to manage you. Uh, uh, you got me. Uh, Let's and you find the answer. I weep for the departed. <laughs> it takes a fall. For oblivion. Oh, no. Receive divinity. Don't worry. It's just eternal as sleep. The dead return. Repay. Commencing support. <gasps> Enemy data secure. Net markers activated. Time for a good old counterattack. Riding a lucky streak. 
You're spiffy? That's half the work. I'll see you off. <laughs> Down from a boom. Don't worry, it's just a scrape. Don't. Still waters of oblivion. You chose the wrong enemy. I'll go easy. Feeling spiffy? Can you find the answer? Free will, or was it fate? Destiny for oblivion. Nothing major. Everything I can. <gasps> Enemy data sick, you met Marcus activated. Time for a good old counterattack! Eternal slip. The dead return! <laughs> Enemy data secure. Net markers activated. Time for a good old counterattack! Receive divinity. Thanks for the support. Repay. Prepare for support. <clears throat> Let's play for a Don't. I weep for the departed. <laughs> it too shall fall. <laughs> Even on a losing streak, as long as people still have hope, they'll keep throwing money on the table. The chance the potential is what you hang on to. That's what justifies the gamble. Enemy targets detected. <laughs> Eternal slip and dead return! Let's play. Can you find the answer? Free will, or was it from the still waters of oblivion? It's all or nothing! Again? Bloom. Don't worry, it's Repent. just a script. Eternal slip. The dead return! Double down! Receive divinity. Thanks for the support. Enemy data secure. Net markers activated. Time for a good old counterattack. Let's play for a feeling spiffy. I weep for the departed. It too shall fall. Destined for oblivion. Prepare for something. Oh. Ready for another? I'll see you off. Bloom. Uh. There's no uh. Another journey begins. Still waters of oblivion. It's all or nothing! Nothing major, shall we? Let's play. Can you find the answer? Feeling spiffy? I weep for the departed. <laughs> it too shall fall. Every place like that. Down to the last player. So why can't I be happy too? Why can't I feel that breeze? Always hide your ace with a straight face. I'm starting to get a little impatient with you all. <laughs> Friends, to fully relish this, I'm betting every last chip. Only by casting aside reason does one truly gamble. I might pass through the place you mentioned. Pentecone. What do you hope to find within a dream? 
I'm not looking for anything. They aren't in a dream. Mm. I'm afraid the family will not open the doors for you. Why? Because the path you walk is not accepted by the Harmony. Even if... that's not what I want. Precisely because it's not what you want. Because they are not like other Eons. They have never glanced at anyone. And they never need to. They leave woven strands of fate for humans to walk. And together, they weave a great shadow. And this shadow silently envelops them. There are always those who rise from the shadows. Hmm. They mostly become a part of the shadow. In your eyes, am I the same? You still have a strand of color. But not much. <sighs> that is enough. Before they vanish completely, I will reach the Nihility's end. to mourn the departed, weeping like rain, to swell the crossing stream. As the tide arrives, leading you back home. After two days, it proves that you are the real deal. Wealth, status, power. The IPC will give you whatever you want. As for us, we will reunite in Kakava's next Aurora. It's a pity this is not the place you were expecting. Who's hiding her identity? But the sleeping and shapeless never glance at anyone. They have no face, no form, and even less of a will to speak. The nihility envelops everyone equally. Only some who have gone under their shadow can go farther, 
tainting themselves with more nihility. That's all. <laughs> That's all. My friend, you really leave me at a loss for words. So... Is this my final destination? The land of the dead? This is all but a fleeting dream. One of the thousands of manifestations of Ajax. Under the watchful eye of Nihility, we momentarily linger here before moving on to our own paths. <laughs> it seems that my death has already been determined. Even if you wish for it. I can't promise you anything. Now that you've accomplished your goal, I think you can be a little more forthcoming. <laughs> what do you mean? Your performance at the theme park was wonderful and grandiose. A simple yet practical technique that fooled almost everyone. No one would have ever thought that you would have gone to such lengths. Even staking your life just to prove a fact that had seemingly been disproved long ago. Real death does not exist in Penacone's dreamscape. <laughs> Why would I do this? Because this is the only way you can uncover a secret that is even more unspeakable than the serial murders. To use this dream death to get there. To that promised land people constantly seek in this grand gathering. Penacone. The legacy of the Watchmaker. The true land of exile. <sighs> How did you find out? I never imagined that something I learned about unexpectedly would become the key to connecting everything. It's our Stellaron friend's identity, isn't it? I see you're in the know. Let's just say I put money on the possibility. The murder isn't nearly enough to disrupt business as usual. Even if there were one or two murders on Penacone, most people wouldn't be personally affected. And that won't create any waves. This dream of theirs isn't a boundless sea. It's a lonely island. The family used the Harmony to build a high wall and isolate them from the vast and treacherous ocean of the outside world. That barrier they build keeps death out, but it also keeps the secrets that are lost in that watery abyss from floating to the surface. In a beautiful dream, free of suffering, who would want to go fishing for those secrets? No one. Unless... Unless someone goes to the other side of the barrier and lives to tell the tale. Someone already has. I got the idea early on, chewing on that masked fool's little hint. If a mute isn't someone who cannot make a sound, then it has to be someone who cannot speak. Someone who survived the treacherous depths but is unable to take the stage and speak the truth. <laughs> well, I'm happy to know she's safe and sound, and still on Penacone. Hint. Is that not proof? Well, proof is the one thing I don't have. The only thing that can prove these... conjectures... is for the family to come clean. And with the way they buttered up these outsiders, it seems pretty clear they're intent on covering their tracks. But you don't need proof to have a suspicion. And for me, suspicion is enough. I didn't need to find the memory zone meme. I just needed for someone to kill me like it killed that silver-haired girl. You don't sound very confident to me. Going out of your way to make citywide broadcasts in an attempt to involve more people. You are simply betting on the possibility of someone being able to break down the barrier. You're very lucky that fate has decided to let us cross paths. I happen to be equipped with a very sharp blade. Sharp enough to slice through the veil of dreams. I can also carve the Harmony's brand off of you. 
You possess great cunning. Deliberately setting us up to be on opposing sides. Constantly repeating the words of the Emanator in front of others. Leaving me no choice but to draw my blade against you. And that's how you win. Opportunity and strategy. Both are essential. And in your plans, the IPC always wins. <laughs> Even if you lose the bet. To the family, the life of an ambassador is still invaluable. Well, it's a huge gamble, isn't it? But allow me to point out a mistake. The IPC's success is not guaranteed. I, unfortunately, have no contingencies for such an important matter. Detonating a Stellron. I can't do it. The Aventurine Stone is too broken to even safeguard my escape from the stage. If, at the end of the day, you did not unsheath your blade, I would have lost the bet. It is pointless to discuss what-ifs. You have won. Your prize is an entry ticket into that deep sea. And after this, whether you can return from the Abyss is another gamble of yours. Have you never wavered? Wavered? <laughs> of course I have. But I can only bank on my own good fortune. Because other than that... I have nothing. Wake up from this dream and go to where you should be. Your gamble is not over yet. <laughs> Before we part, can you answer one more question? As someone who has traveled on that road, can you tell me, why are we born into this world? if it's just to die. I don't think this, and never have. Nor do you. But the Nihility envelops you and I. And everyone. And because of that, it's pointless. But it is still there. If the dice of fate are always weighted, then that is our destiny. Why, then, do we struggle against it? My answer might not be able to resolve your confusion, because it has been with you throughout your journey and is already a part of your life. But you said, sleep is the rehearsal of death. So why does life sleep? Because we are not ready to welcome death. So you can definitely understand why we want to be prepared. Even if the ending has been predetermined, that's fine. There are countless things that humans cannot change. But before the end, there are many things that humans can do while on their journey. And because of this, the end will thus reveal a completely different meaning. Take a good look at your pocket. Your friend has already given you the answer. Good luck. <sighs> then I shall get going. Mister? You're leaving? You ultimately chose to... leave this dreamscape? Yes. Because they are not here. My papa, mama, and big sis. 
Then where are they? They are in a place where everyone will go. A very, very distant place. Then are you going to? I'll get there one day. But not now. There will come a day when the sky will drizzle, and I will hear the call of Gyathra Triclops, and know that it is time for me to go, and be reunited with my family. So, until that time comes, I should be preparing. Preparing? For what? Well, preparing to face them, Kakamasha. And to make them proud. Hmm. I know you'll be able to do it. Good luck. <laughs> well, of course. For I am a child who received the blessing of Gyathra Triclops. <laughs> but you still seem nervous. <laughs> Oh, I seem that way because I am nervous. You know what? Maybe you can help. What do you say? One last time? Put our palms together? Are you going now? Yes. May the Mother Goddess thrice close her eyes for you, keeping your, your blood, blood eternally pulsing. pulsing. May, May your journey, journey be forever, forever peaceful, peaceful, and your schemes forever concealed. Our paths will cross again beneath Kakava's shimmering auroras. Farewell, Kakavasha.